So our topic is about one-sided limits. So a basic uh, definition of one-sided limit is it is the limit of a function as x nag approach gikan sa right o ang x ga approach gikan sa left. So we can ato na siyang maplot using a graph para makita good. So let's say na kay graph this is negative negative x this is positive x and let's say na kay graph na inani this is your limit and let's say na din ka dire sa napud kay limit dire so mao na gid ni ang pinaka basic nga interpretation sa one sided limits so so ang imong limit dire as x approaches from the negative x values so madinot na nato nga the limit of a function as x approaches to a from the negative x axis so mauni mong the left hand limit or the isa sa one side li one sided limits well on the other hand the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the positive x axis is denoted gamit ani so basically ang kaning kaning negative dere o kaning positive dere is just the direction kung asa gikan ang imong graph so pag negative meaning imong graph from the left pag positive i meaning imong graph from the positive x axis or from the right so mo gid ang pinaka basic definition sa one sided limit or the left and the right hand limit and using aning left hand or right hand limit nata ginatawag na rules or properties in order for a limit to exist sa ina jud so let's say the right hand limit is the limit of a function as x approaches to a from the positive meaning from the positive and narin kai left hand limit which is the limit of a function as x approaches to a from the left so from the negative x axis so from aning a uh, definition ang imo lang yun dapat bantayan is pag equal ni sila duha meaning ang imong limit the limit of a function as x approaches to a meaning the whole graph na wala na left hand and right hand limit meaning i combine na is ga exist so let's say this is l this is the limit so therefore ang imong the limit of a function as x approaches to a meaning katunag yung a dili na ang left hand o right hand limit is l japon meaning if ang imong right hand limit o ang imong left hand limit kay equal therefore ang imong limit in general ga exist and same magnitude ra japon sa one sided limit or the left hand and the right hand limits so kanin ang ganimo dapat tumdumon so let's have an example So, evaluate the limit if it exists. So, for example, A. We have the limit of a function 1 over x plus 8 
as x approaches to the right hand limit or 8 from the right meaning imong graph is from the right so unsa ni pagkuha so sa, like unsa kung giingon na tong first video nga para makuha ani is pwede ka mag let og value na close sa 8 from the right which is 8.001 from the right man 8 man itapos dire kay 8.001 tapos for example na kay number line so this is these are numbers from the left so these are from numbers from the right so imong ilet ani value is this 8.001 so pwede ka nga method imong gamiton but as you can see pwede ra siya ma direct substitution since dili siya ma undefined or ma zero over zero so you can pwede ra gina direct so na ni mga simple ra kayo nga i substitute ang value sa a x as 8 therefore imo limit ani is 1 over 8 plus 8 or 1 over 16 so next may tag from the left so for example the limit of x uh, no, the function 4 minus x over x squared minus 16 as x approaches to 4 from the left meaning mong graph diri na so like i said pwede gud ka maggamit og approximate na values so this is your 4 so values from the from the left meaning 3.9992 or 1 or 0 values from the left but but the best way to do this or ang pinaka simple na button is to factor out the denominator so nakai limit of like i said i copy dapat yun ang limit if wala pa ka nag substitute so, so 4 minus x over so i factor out ni mo ang denominator so ang factor sa x squared minus 16 is x minus 4 and x plus 4 kaya nga no x times x is x squared x times 4 is positive 4x 4 times negative 4 times x is negative 4x negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 so these two cancels and na na kayo mabiling na x squared minus 16 so ang factor niya is x minus 4 o x plus 4 so pwede niya may rewrite as x plus 4 and x minus 4 so as you can see makita ni mga 4 minus x and x minus 4 is the same but opposite ang sign so imong bato na ni is you can isolate the negative sign here para ma positive ang x so negative 1 times negative 1 times negative x is positive x negative 1 times negative 4 negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 so kani over x plus 4 and x minus 4 so makita ni mo na nakay na na makancel or may mong 1 so mawala mawala mabili ang negative 1 therefore the limit is just negative 1 na lang over x plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the left so as you can see pag substitute ni mga 4 diri sa x dili na ma 0 unlike diri ganina pag substitute ni mo diri so so 4 squared is 16 tapos 16 minus 16 is 0 so na na kay over 0 which is undefined so dire pag substitute ni mo ang 4 so may mo ng 8 so dili na 
0. So, pwede na nila ni Mukwao ng limit or i-substitute ang x. So, negative 1 over 4 plus 4 is equals to negative 1 over 8. So, this is your final answer. So, next example is... So, next is example is... Pa-evaluate ka pong limit but this time using a piecewise function. So, ang piecewise function is basically in ani ang forma. So, f of x is equals to... Pag nai-nani, like nai-condition... That's a piecewise function. So, let's say, nakadere x cubed plus 1. If imong x is less than 1, tapos naka x plus 1. If imong x is greater than or equal to 1. Tapos, ipa-evaluate din ka o... Wait. ipa Evaluate then ka first is the limit as x, no, limit of a function as x approaches to 1 from the right and b, the limit of a function as x approaches. 2, 1 from the left and C is the limit of a function as X approaches to 1 or a general na. So, ma-apply na nato to itong discuss ganina nga properties or rules sa limit. So, if this is equal, ang right hand o ang left hand is equal, therefore, this C kay ga-exist na value so let's so imong goal ani is ma identify asa ning left hand limit i i mean right hand limit ug ang left hand limit so sa right hand limit is from the obviously from the right meaning if nakai 1 diri if this is the number line tapos nakai 1 diri Meaning, ang values from the right is 2, 3, 4. Tapos, ang values from the left is 0. Change the color. So, ang values from the left is 0, negative 1, negative 2. So, ang gi-ask sa aning question A or problem A is the right hand limit meaning values from the right so there is a ta there is a original function pai taon din mo asa ang value na mas dako sa 1 so ma identify na din mo diretso nga you need to use this value sa using in kanim gamiton nga function x plus 1 because x must be greater than or equal to 1 and an, ang, dayon, ang definition sa right hand limit is from the positive meaning from the positive values so this these 2 3 4 ang from the positive so therefore this is the right hand limit so again right hand limit siya because yang gingon Kani daw yung gamiton. X plus 1 daw yung gamiton. If X is greater than or equal to 1. So, unsay greater than 1. So, nakai 2, 3, 4, and so on. Tapos, diri sa 1, as X approaches to 1 from the right. Meaning, diri nga mga values. So, therefore, ang gakawar ani nga values are 2, 3, 4. Therefore, similar sila. So, kani imong gamiton na value sa f of x. So, imo na dayong i-solve. So, the limit of a function, which is kani 
x plus 1 as x approaches to 1 from the right is just basically the substitute lang ni mo since dili siya mo 0 over 0 basically equals to 1 plus 1 or 2 so nanakay value sa left right hand limit so next is this left hand limit so as you can see nga ang left hand limit is if this is 1 you are focusing sa values from the left so 0 negative 1 negative 2 and meaning less than 1 ang value sa this left hand limit so uh, pangitaon din mo sa function asa ang kahatag o condition na less than 1 so meaning makita na din mo ni kan na x cubed plus 1 therefore ang x cubed plus 1 imong gamiton as the function for the left hand limit since yang gi require is dapat daw imong x is less than 1 tapos ang limit of f of x as x approaches to the from the left is from less than 1 padulong sa 1 therefore mag satisfy siya sa b so imong gamiton nga function sa b is this x cubed plus 1 so you have limit of x cubed plus 1 as x approaches to the 1 from the left is as you can see delete siya ma undefined or indeterminate form so you can do direct substitution so 1 cube plus 1 is basically 1 plus 1 is 2 so sa atong gingon ganina nga if ang left hand limit and the if the right hand limit and the left hand limit is equal meaning ang imong entire limit or the general limit is ga exist and same lang dayon og values meaning 2 lang gyapon so therefore imong limit of the function as x approaches to 1 is ga exist and it's equals to but if ang kani lugar is 3 tapos kani is 2 therefore imong limit diri is does not exist since dili equal ang imong right hand limit o left hand limit but in this case since 2 man tapos 2 meaning equal therefore nakai limit sa general function which is 2 so next topic is natin ginatawag na discontinuities so dagan types of discontinuities but ang common good is the jump or common nga mga discontinuities is jump discontinuity so ang jump discontinuity is basically is among one sided limits is ga exist but dili sila equal so let's say the limit of a function as x approaches to a from the left is equal to r and the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the right is l so meaning dili sila equal so if this if the left hand limit o ang right hand limit is not equal pero naa sila values meaning this is what you call the jump discontinuity so next is the infinite discontinuity so ang definition ani is among one sided limits or the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the left and the limit of f of x 
as x approaches from the a from the right if if this is equals to infinity meaning imong left hand or ang right hand limit is infinity therefore it is discontinuous or this na na siya discontinuity and that type of discontinuity is infinite discontinuity and next is ang most common is the removable so ang removable discontinuity is basically if nakai graph tapos na ay value here kani nga ga dili ga exist or na ay murag bangag imong graph or tapos ang other terms sa removable discontinuity is whole discontinuity so meaning na ay values specifically here nga dili ga exist or ang imong limit so, tapos gitawag siya removable because because pwede ni mo siya ma-repair so pwede ka magbutang og single point dire para ma continuous ang imong function so mao ni ang pinaka common nga common discontinuities the three types of discontinuities so let's have an example so let's say na tay function na na tay piecewise function tapos na condition na 3 plus x if x is greater than or equal to 1 and 3 minus x if x is less than 1 so kwa na to ang limit as x approaches to a or 1 so the left hand limit is the limit of a function as x approaches to 1 from the I mean 1 from the left so magpaitan na ito as ang from the left ani meaning gamay sa 1 so x meaning ang imong values x is gamay sa 1 so ang x less than 2 1 meaning gamay sa 1 therefore kani imong gamito na value sa function so we have the limit of 3 minus x as x approaches to 1 from the left is equals to substitute substitute it so okay diliman ma undefined 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 and the right hand limit is obvious na kayo kanim gamiton so let's say f of x as x approaches to 1 from the right meaning mas dako nga value pasa 1 imong kailangan so x greater or equal to 1 so imong function is 3 plus 1 so the limit of 3 plus 1 as x approaches to 1 from the right so substitute lang no this is x mandani so this is x as x approaches to 1 from the right so 3 plus 1 substitute lang ang 1 x so that's 4 so as you can see ang left hand limit o ang right hand limit is dili equal therefore the limit does not exist and it is discontinuous tapos atong gidiscuss din na nga if dili equal ang left hand limit o ang, ang right hand limit this type of discontinuity is so this is the jump discontinuity and jump discontinuity is na belong sa essential discontinuity so meaning this is a type of essential discontinuity kay sagara sa exam i 
pagpachus ng ka-if, it is essential or removable. Tapos, as you can see, if removable siya, itong gini-define kanina, na ay values nga makapa-change sa iya into continuous function. While, if essential, wala na good meaning undefined na good or does not exist na good ang iyang two-sided two limit. So, going back sa problem, so this is a jump discontinuity and this is a essential shall type of discontinuity. So, sa essential type of discontinuity, na include rin ang jump o ang infinite. So, since this is jump, so this is essential discontinuity. So, next is natin ginatawag na infinite limits. So, let's have an example. So, for, exa for our example, we have the limit of negative 5x over 1 minus x as x approaches to 1 from the left. So, para masabta na ito ang infinite limits, mag-draw taog table. So, let's say, mauning x, tapos this is the f of x. So, sa kanina problem, kailangan na to, para masabta nyo na to ang infinite limits, kailangan na ito maglatog value na close sa 1 from the left but not equal sa 1. So, for example, so let's say natay 1 dere. So, from the left, so from the left, ang close sa 1 but not equal sa 1 is, we have 0 0.9. So, let's say natay x na 0 0.9. So, let's plug sa I-plug na nato sa calculator. So, negative 5 times 0 0.9 over 1 minus 0 0.9. So, that's equals to negative 45. So, if ang atong value sa x is ipa dool pag na to sa 1, meaning 0 0.9. 99 close sa 1 but not equal sa 1 so natay value sa y na negative 495 so balik ko na to tapos ipa antud sa madako na good or mas dool na good kayo sa 1 ang atong value sa x so atong i graph para masabta na to infinite limits so, if 0 0.999 ang atong value sa y is, or f of x is, for negative 4995. So, if 0 0.9999, but naka 9, if 0 0.9999 ang atong value sa y is negative, 49995 if 0 0.99999 meaning dual negit kay sa 1 so atong value sa y is negative 4 4 walay point walay point 499995 so if atong pare padayan last na lang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if 6 na ni. So, ang value sa atong y is negative 4, 9, 9, So, makita na to nga. As ang x ga-approach sa 1, sa 1, but not equal sa 1, meaning, ga point point nine 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 nine
ay, or pinakadool na good nga value sa x sa 1 but not equal sa 1 meaning ang atong y or ang f of x is negative 4.4999999 so on meaning infinitely gadako so therefore if ang x approaches to 1 meaning natay f of y nga ga increase up to the negative infinity so therefore ang answer ani is negative infinity because if imo pa gyud ipadayon maka kwa din kag value sa y na grabe ka na kayo kadako meaning murag ga multip ga multiply gyud ba gikan sa 0 0.9 to 0 0.99 meaning gadako gyud ang values exponentially so meaning up to negative infinity since negative mani so pag isolve ni nato using techniques so natay negative 5 times 1 over 1 minus 1 so that's equals to negative 5 over 0 and take note it is ang kani is from the left so 0 from the left therefore kabalo na ka ang kani nga value is negative infinity therefore negative 5 over since this is infinity a negative 5 times in over infinity is negative infinity so inana pag solve sa infinite limits so another example is example b so nakai limit of square root of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2 from the right so sa kaninga problem this is equals to so para nga problem kailangan na to i-apply atong naibala na tong previous video which is the conjugate of the numerator so if atoning i-take ang conjugate meaning i-multiply na to sa iyang kaugalingon but tapos i-multiply po na to sa denominator so we can have square root of x squared minus 4 times square root of x squared minus 4 this is over x minus 2 and this is over x square root of x squared minus 4 para ma over 1 or 1 ra so na kay mabili na limit of x squared minus 4 since mawala ang square root nga sign tapos i-multiply nini mo sila x minus 2 and square root of x squared minus 4 so let's delete sa ninat and let's move this sa taas so nanakai as x approaches to 2 from the right so yung bato na is factor out ang numerator so nanakai limit of I factor out ang numerator, that's x plus 2 and x minus 2 over x minus 2 and square root of x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 2 from the right. So, na kayo makancel ka ni. So, ang mabilin sa'yo is the limit of x plus 2 
over square root of x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 2 from the right. So, I'm muna evaluate ang limit. So, that's 2 plus 2 is 4. And this is 2 squared minus 4. So, that's basically 4 over 0. And since this is positive, kailan ni mubut ngag positive to indicate that that's nga kanisha is from the right. So, atong gi define ganina nga if 0, this is infinity. So, therefore, 4 over infinity is basically 4 divided by infinity is infinity. So, Therefore, ang answer ani is equals to positive infinity. So, kana ang imong final answer. So, sorry kay guys if libog ang pag-explain.